Hello, friends. How are you? I hope you're good. Yes. Um, I hope you're fine. I hope everything is okay with you. All right, I'm back again talking to you, uh, discussing science with you. That is it, Russell 1B. And I want us to talk about, yes, my name is displayed there, Nancy C. Habiba. I want us to look at birds. Do you know birds? I know you know. You know, you know, you have so many birds at home. Unless you have ever seen so many birds in the community or in the environment, you know so many birds. Um, so when I talk about birds, this is what I would like you to know at the end of the, of the lesson. You should be able to know what domestic and wild, what domestic and wild birds are. You need to, you, you'll have to explain, sorry, to list examples of wild and domestic birds and also be able to draw some birds. Also, to mention the characteristics of birds, how birds are. Do you know any birds? How do they, how, how, are, how are they? What do they look like? Do they, do, they, do they sing? Do they go to school? Do they have ears? How are they? All right, let's look at the characteristics of birds. These are the features of birds. How? How are birds? What are birds like? Well, birds have feathers. Birds have feathers. They have feathers. They lay eggs. Birds lay eggs. And I know you enjoy eating eggs. Yes. Birds use lungs to breathe. And so are you. They use lungs to breathe. You also use lungs to breathe. So are the birds. They use lungs to breathe. They use beaks to pick food. And then they don't have hands. They can't pick hands. Sorry. They can't use their hands to pick food because they don't have hands. What they do is pick food using their beaks. Yes. We don't call it a mouth. We call it a beak. Yes. They use beaks to pick food. Their legs are covered with scales. Take some time and look at it. And look at the legs of the birds. They are a bit rough. They have that rough, rough skin. That's what we call the scales. You see the word scales? S C A L E S. Scales. They have scales. Have you ever seen a fish? Have you ever seen a skin of a fish before it is clean? Yes, it has a rough skin, and that rough skin is covered with scales. Uh huh. They have two legs. Oh, you thought they had three? No, they have two legs. Birds have two legs. I hope we are together. You say they have feathers, they lay eggs, they use lungs to breathe. Not a nose. And even you don't use a nose. Uh -uh. You use a nose to let in the air, but you use the lungs, which are inside you, to breathe. They use beaks to pick food, not the hands, not the mouth. They also, their skin is also covered with scale. Their legs sorry, are covered in scale and they have feathers on their body. They also have two legs. All right, let's continue. We look at the domestic birds. What are domestic birds? What are domestic birds? What do you think domestic birds are? You remember the domestic animals? Aha. Uh -huh. The word domestic simply means something that has been tamed. You know, in order to tame something, you're supposed to keep it home. So domestic birds are birds kept at home yes we have some birds we keep at home some are kept for different reasons some are kept as pets you know you have your beautiful bird there i don't know what bird is there is the, this bird that people keep as a pet and um it imitates whatever you say it says happy birds happy bird. it keeps on copying what you already say so some examples of the domestic birds, the birds that we keep home are, we have the hen, do you know hen? We have a cock, turkey, goose, even a duck, even a duck. All right, these are some of the examples of, uh, we have the hen, we have a duck, I believe you've ever seen a turkey somewhere. Yes. 
And um, these birds are kept home for different reasons. Like I told you, basically we, we enjoy eating their meat, don't you? Uh -huh. They also lay eggs. When they lay eggs, of course we enjoy the eggs. I, for one, enjoy eating eggs so much. I can eat so many eggs in a day. All right. Um, this is a turkey. See the turkey? Ah, now, let's look at the wild birds. What are wild birds? You remember wild animals? We said the domestic birds are birds kept at home. The wild birds. What are wild birds? Where do you think are found? Yes, these wild birds are found in the bush. They live on their own. Okay? They, they, they're supposed to be in the jungle, in the bush. They're not supposed to be home. Though, there are some we pick and we domesticate them. There are some we pick and we keep them as pets. So maybe it's because they look so amazing, because they look so good. Or maybe we just enjoy seeing them. All right? Yes, but there are some others you cannot even think about keeping home. Maybe they're aggressive. Can't you even keep a vulture at home? Huh? Can you keep an egg at home? Hmm. But there are some birds that we can keep home because they are, maybe they have colorful feathers. Maybe they look quite amazing. They look so nice. All right. So these are the, some of the examples of wild birds who say they live on their own. Okay, you can find them when they are kept in the zoo. You can find when they are just, you know, moving around. <coughs> so, some of uh, the wild birds. One is ostrich. Have you ever seen an ostrich? Hey, owl. Not owl. Owl. Guinea fowl. Parrots. Eagles. We have kites, we have vultures, we have ibis, flamingo, woodpecker, sandbird, and the sparrow. Mm -hmm. Those of you at Kampala Quality, you know the, those houses we have. The peacock, the sparrow, you know, we have a sparrow, we have a heron, and the crested crane. Yes, this crested crane is actually the, our Uganda bird it's, it's it's what represents the bird we use as an emblem the country's emblem so it's so so peaceful so beautiful so this is the crested crane okay this is the ostrich oh an ostrich is super big it's so big it's so powerful i heard that it could actually kick the king of the jungle do you know who the king of the jungle is hmm the ostrich can kick the king of the jungle. It is so fast, it is so big, you can sit on it and it takes you somewhere. Though I doubt how safe that is. Okay? That is an ostrich. It is so big. It is so fast. It is, it is it's so, not so, something to play around with. Hmm, we have an owl. Ooh, look at the eyes. That is an owl. Have you ever seen an owl anywhere? Hmm, that is an owl. Oh, it looks, it looks cute, because of the big eyes, maybe. Ah, look at this. It has, you know, I like the black and white. The genie fowl. Everybody say genie fowl. Genie fowl. Yes, genie fowl, look at it. It is having beautiful, beautiful feathers. It has those spots, the black and white. It's so amazing. Aha, uh -huh, let's look at the parrot. Ooh, look at the parrot. Have you seen it? Ooh, you see? Have you ever seen a parrot? Have you ever seen a, a parrot in anybody's home? Yes, this is one of the birds that are kept as pets. Why? Because it's so amazing. Look how good it is. It looks so cute. And next, this bird imitates. When you speak something, it speaks it back. And when it gets used to you, oh my goodness, it's so amazing. Yes, you can never, it gives company. You can't be bored when you have a parrot at home. So this is a parrot. An eagle, ooh. An eagle, like, like eating meat. 
And what does it use to, 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 to pick its meat? Eh, it uses that as a beak. It has even these tough, 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 tough legs and tough toes. So it steps on its meat and just eats it with its beak. So that's a, an eagle. I don't think anybody can keep an eagle at home. Hmm, it looks so scary. It can eat you. Hmm, there's a kite. Oh, a kite. There it is. These are, these, these are not friendly at all. You can't keep it at home. They are kept, they live on their own. If you want to see some, actually, if you want to see most of these wild birds, you can go to the zoo, you know? You know where the zoo is? Yes, I believe we went to the zoo last time. Hmm, yes. Hmm, there's a vulture. That's a vulture. A vulture is also kind of scary. You can't keep it home. It lives on its own. It's like eating meat. Yes, that's a vulture. Mm -hmm. An ibis. Look at the long mouth and the long legs. That's an ibis. Yes. And this flamingo. See? Flamingo is pink. Shh. It has long legs. You see, maybe it was looking for, for food in the water. What could be the food it was looking for? Hmm. I think what could be worms could be some small fish you see yes what is it using to pick the food what do you think is it using the feathers is it using the legs no here there is a beak so it's using the beak to pick the food uh-huh let's continue we have a wood pecker this one pecks the, the wood it can pick a wood and make the whole tree fall you see Look at it. It has made a hole here. It is pecking the wood. It's pecking a tree. It can make the, the whole tree fall. It's called a woodpecker. Mm -hmm. Would you like to keep a woodpecker at home? Won't it poke the tables? Those wooden tables. Uh -huh. We have a sandbird. Yes, these ones live on their own. You see, it must be enjoying the fruits. Uh -huh. The sparrow. It's also cute, but we can't keep it home. It likes being on its own. Aha, uh -huh, there's a heron. Hey, there's a heron. Have you ever seen a heron anywhere? Check and see. Mm, that one. Have you ever seen it anywhere? Yes. A heron. Actually, if you have ever gone to Kampala, there are so many herons. There are so many. There are some, actually, which recently, uh, which recently actually were on the parliament, there's a tree at the, uh, the parliament of Uganda, so there were so many there. And the, one of the honorable members was scared of seeing them. So that is a heron. Yes, they like eating snakes. Aha, uh -huh, they like eating snakes. Ah, the beautiful one. I hope you've ever seen this. Yes, in the national flag. It is there, it is standing on one leg. The crested crane. It is the Uganda the, the, our national emblem, okay? We think it is so peaceful, it is so calm, and it shows that we are moving forward. That's the crested crane for you. Aha, uh -huh, there it is, look at it. Uh -huh, you see how it has beautiful colors? It is so calm. That's the crested crane. If, in case you have never seen a crested crane, please, there's there so many of these in the Uganda, in the zoo. You can go and check them out. There's a marabou stock. Have you ever seen one? Yeah, there's this one also, the marabou stock. They are there. Yes, they are also there in uh, mostly in Kampala. Also, they are there. If you ever go to, if you ever gone to Makerere, there are so many of the marabou stock there. Even at the parliament, they are there. Well, we've seen so many wild birds and even domestic birds. The domestic birds are kept at home. Sometimes we can call them chicken. If you're keeping so many, so those uh, the ca the hens and the cocks, the 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 the, um, the name for the group of hens and cocks is chicken. So no, no chicken can apply to the birds at the same time to their meat. All right. So there's some exercise you need to do. It's so simple. You read and. Do it. It's so simple. I'm expecting you to be knowing how to read. This is easy peasy. Come on. You'll be able to read it. 
I love number four so much. I hope you'll be able to do it. I love you so much. I hope you're good. Stay safe. Till we meet again. Bye-bye.